Now in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use a Google spreadsheet to analyze stocks. Pretty cool, huh? Let's take a look. What we have here embedded in this spreadsheet is a line graph which shows the price of the stock of Google over time. And what we also have below are some stats. So uh, over this period of analysis, which are dates that you will set, you can understand what is the rate of return you would have achieved, how volatile is this stock. And we take a look at a ratio which could come into handy, which is, you know, what is your return for every unit of risk? In this case, it's for every unit of volatility. In general, on a daily basis, what was the average return across this time period? What was the median return? What was your lowest and highest return? And what were the dates that corresponded to the lowest and highest daily return during this period? So let's take a look. If you have a single stock that you'd like to analyze, how would you go about doing it? Well, take a look here to your left. We have this small input box. At this point, you can enter in your start date and an end date. Um, I just used right now the today function, which would give me today's date as the end date. At that point, let me know what stock you want to analyze. In this case, we'll use Google as our example. So you list the name Google plus the ticker. You can find the ticker of the stock of any company in um, Google Finance. Okay, well, let's say we've already got that information and we've jotted that down here. At this point, we can use a particular function called Google Finance. Now, this is a neat function because it's not something you can find in Excel or other databases. This is specific to Google. And what it does is it can provide you with historical returns based on some of the criteria that you have set, which includes the periods, the tickers, and what the attribution is, which in this case, we want the price. So at that point, you can use that particular formula to generate the historical prices on a daily basis. And then we can calculate what the return is. The return is simply the date of the price of the current date divided by the price of yesterday's date minus one. And, and we're going to go into exactly why we use that return formula. Now the last column here, this is an automatically generated formula which will return the date and I'll explain why we need to do that. Okay, so at this point when you take a look here we can see what the line graph is and then we can also look at all our different stats. Now the period of analysis simply references the two dates that you've input in. Now the compounded rate of return you can do that two ways. One way is you can use the product fun function, which is a math function, or you can get the same result by using a statistical function, which is the geo mean, geometric mean function. Now, in both cases, we need to understand that we need to use an array formula. So take a look at our array formula video to understand what that concept is. Volatility, this is the standard deviation function that is a statistical function. And we multiply this by the square root of 250 because we're going to assume there are 250 trading days within a given year. Okay, return per unit of risk is a simple formula that divides the return over your volatility. In this case, the risk unit of risk is what we will define as volatility in this case. And then these stats here, the average, medium, lowest, and highest daily return, all use statistical functions, average, median, min, and max. And finally, do you recall that we have this formula set up here with the date in column H? The reason we do that is so we can pinpoint the exact day that the stock hit its lowest daily return and highest daily return within this period. And in this case, we use the lookup V lookup function. And again, this will be in our lookup series video. So feel free to check out exactly how we determine what or how, how to look up the date that corresponds to the lowest daily return. Okay, so e these are all the different components that went into this application here. 
We hope uh, you can make good use of this by putting in any ticker, any stock that you find of interest. Okay, we will see you next time.